Hey guys, today I just want to talk about a really quick thing, gastroparesis. This is um, the term that doctors use for slow stomach emptying. So what that means is that there's a nerve at the end of the, the stomach that lets the food into the small intestine. And if it works like it should, all of the foods will get absorbed at, their, at the rate that they should. But for diabetics, what happens is your, your higher blood sugars that you naturally experience <coughs> tend to weaken that nerve. And they tend to, in some cases, even destroy it. And because that nerve is weakened, it cannot function as it was in a way that it was designed to. And because of that, you do not process the food at the rate that your body would expect it. So then if you inject yourself insulin for a meal and you expect for a certain food to get digested in a certain way, it may actually not happen because of gastroparesis. It may be delayed by an hour, two, three, whatever, uh, because your nerve is your, the, the vagus nerve at the end of the stomach is not letting the food out. And so it can never actually get broken down and be uh, sort of absorbed uh, as nutrients. So that's something that you have to be aware of. You have to be aware of that phenomenon and pretty much most diabetics will have that, um, to some degree, the, the light stomach emptying will be a condition for them to some degree. And you sort of just have to account for it in in your meal planning, in your boluses, and uh, just make sure that you know you don't over bolus yourself and then you go low, and then your food gets up, and then you know you overeat because you gotta, you gotta cover that, and then you go high because then the food gets broken down and then you know you don't have insulin that you initially inject so keep that in mind and you know just know that this is a thing that happens to diabetics and make sure that you account for it until next time